Mother Nature is the ultimate giver, and she gives everything for everyone, with eternal love and compassion. Civilizations start on the river bank, and it ends when the river dies. That is the kind of bondage that reflects how lives depends upon rivers. Lakes and rivers are closely tied. Some lakes are the source for rivers, and some rivers end in lakes. Since both rivers and lakes have fresh water and flow in and out of each other, they share similar characteristics, and many plants and animal species. The main difference that can be seen between rivers and lakes is water movement. If you observe the river, it basically moves or runs along its banks. Lakes are usually enclosed by land. Unlike ponds, these bodies of water have to be of a significant size for it to be considered as a lake. Not all lakes are created by basins filling with water. Some lakes are formed by rivers. Mature rivers often wind back and forth across a plain, in wide loops called meanders. Meander is one of a series of regular sinus curves, bends, loops, turns, or windings in the channel of a river, or other watercourse. This will form a river cliff. We all know that, being outside is good for us, for both our mind and our body. What better way to get healthy and stay healthy outdoors than to be near water? Water is such an awesome natural resource, and because of that, people love living near it. The telltale serene sound and the wide array of activities to do makes the river an amazing place for young and old alike. Fresh water on the land surface is a vital part of the water cycle for everyday human life. On the landscape, fresh water is stored in rivers, lakes, reservoirs, and creeks and streams. Most of the water people use every day comes from these sources of water on the land surface. Lake Geneva is a crescent-shaped, deep lake on the north side of the Alps, shared between Switzerland and France. It is one of the largest lakes in Western Europe. Maximum surface area of this lake is 224 square miles, and approximately 73 kilometers long. Glacier begin forming in places, where more snow piles up each year than melts. Soon after falling, the snow begins to compresses, or become denser and tightly packed. It slowly changes from light, fluffy crystals to hard, round ice pellets. 
New snow falls, and then buries this granular snow. Science explains why we feel more relaxed by looking at water on a biological level. Seeing or hearing the soothing sounds of moving water triggers a response in our brains that induces a flood of neurochemicals. These chemicals increase blood flow to the brain and heart, which induces relaxation. Dams are constructed primarily to impound and store a large body of water. The initial filling of a reservoir is the first test that the dam will perform the function for which it was designed. A carefully managed first filling is crucial to the future success of a dam. According to a study, approximately two-thirds of all failures and one-half of all dam incidents occur on first filling or in the first five years of reservoir operation. A river usually ends by flowing into an ocean, a lake, or a bigger river. The place where the river flows out into a bigger body of water is called the mouth of the river. The deepest part of the channel, the route taken by the last bit of water is called Thalweg, from German for Valley Way. The sides of the channel, along the edges of the stream are its banks. Lake Baikal is an ancient, massive lake in the Russian region of Siberia, considered the deepest and coldest lake in the world. When bridges are requiring, piers are built over a body of water, foundations are made by sinking cassoons into the riverbed and filling them with concrete. In the case of suspension bridges, towers are built atop the cassoons. The first suspension bridge towers were stone, but nowadays they are either steel or concrete. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway is the longest continuous bridge passing over water, the water of New Orleans's Lake Pontchartrain, to be exact. The bridge is so long, that for 8 of its 24 miles, you can't see the land in any direction.
The River Nile is the longest river in the world. It measures 6,695 kilometers from its source in Burundi. Its main source is Lake Victoria in East Central Africa. The Amazon River is 3,980 miles long. It is however the world's largest river by volume and contains 20% of the Earth's freshwater. Published on the 21st of May 2010 by the National Science Foundation of USA. Bridges are constructed for the purpose of providing passage over the obstacle, difficult or impossible to cross. Designs of bridges vary depending on the function of the bridge, the nature of the terrain where the bridge is constructed and anchored, the material used to make it, and the funds available to build it. Most of the oldest cities in the world developed around rivers because they played a major role in sustaining the city itself. Rivers provide water, support natural processes like flood prevention, and provide habitats for the plants and animal. Location near to a large body of water is also useful for transportation and trade. The smallest country without a river is Vatican City. It has no lakes, river or mountains. Canada has the most natural lakes on record and holds 50% of the world's lakes. It is estimated that there are around 117 million lakes on Earth. <laughs>